My name is Mark Pacheco, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Florida. Um, today I'm excited to talk about uh, my study in general literacy research called Translingual Practice, Strategic Participation, and Meaning Making that I wrote with Shannon Daniel, Lisa Prey, and Bob Jimenez, all from Vanderbilt University. The big goal for this study was to try and understand how teachers that might not share home languages or heritage languages with elementary students might recognize and leverage these languages in English center classrooms to support students' meaningful engagements with texts. Um, and the way we, we investigated this question was through a transliteracies framework. We wanted to know when other languages are used in the classrooms, what meanings emerge through interaction, and what meanings then resonated for the teacher and for the students. Uh, we investigated this through ethnographic methods, spending uh, a year in a third grade teacher's classroom, uh, documenting different interactions with texts, and then analyzing these interactions with texts. Uh, we eventually looked at uh, literacy events and small group guided reading and buddy reading, and also in a whole class read, or read aloud. We found that teachers uh, were, this particular teacher was using uh, three important strategies uh, to support students' meaningful engagements with text when languages other than English were used. First, an intextualizing strategy where the teacher was able to recognize resources as they emerged within discussion with students and then leverage these towards making meaning in the story. For example, when students might discuss pesa or pesada uh, about a story, how might this further their understandings of important vocabulary? Uh, we also found that teach the teacher used an invoicing strategy. This is voicing her identity in a new way to support students' meaningful engagement. For example, when two students are talking in Arabic, the teacher able to step back and invoice an identity as a learner rather than a teacher to participate. And then lastly, uh, a recontextualizing strategy. This idea of recontextualizing the classroom to be a space that values not only English, but also Spanish and Arabic. Um, and this inviting then uh, students' participation in whole group discussions using languages other than English to engage with texts. We're very excited about this work because it shows that not only um, is it possible to include languages other than English in English-centric spaces, but it can also be pr uh, productive. 